Amtrak is in the final months of the year preparing to enter the final stages of its most significant upgrade in its history. And recently, the new Amtrak Aero fleet just marked a transformation for Amtrak, bringing a seamless and modern rail travel experience. As Amtrak CEO said, Amtrak Aero will transform the travel experience. This is the future of Amtrak. So what's going on with this new train set and when will it officially debut? Find out what Amtrak has achieved in today's episode of On The Trains. Now let's see how far Amtrak has come to make this vision a reality. Testing and deployment. We cannot deny that the Amtrak Iro represents a bold step toward a modern, efficient, and comfortable travel experience. According to an official announcement from Amtrak on October 22, 2025, this new fleet has completed testing at the Transportation Technology Center in Pueblo, Colorado, a major milestone for Amtrak and its engineers. There, every system was pushed to its limits from braking and electrical systems to comfort and safety. Nothing was left untested. Now the train is heading east to the Northeast Corridor for its final round of real-world testing. This phase will reveal how the train performs under real operating conditions and what makes it stand out from the rest. At the heart of the Amtrak Aero is a hybrid propulsion system that seamlessly combines electric and diesel power. This allows the train to run flexibly across any route, even on tracks that aren't yet electrified. When entering an electrified corridor, the system automatically switches to electric mode without delays or engine changes. This adaptability is one of Aero's greatest strengths, helping save energy and cut emissions by up to 90% compared to older trains. In terms of performance, while the next-gen Acela can reach top speeds of 167 miles per hour, the Aero is built for efficiency and reliability, cruising smoothly at up to 125 miles per hour. The lightweight yet durable body enhances aerodynamics, reducing fuel use and noise nearly 50% quieter than previous generations. Still, it remains to be seen how this hybrid system will perform after years of daily service. Energy efficiency goes even further with regenerative braking, a system that captures energy during braking and feeds it back into the power supply, creating a continuous recycling loop. Combined with LED lighting, energy-saving HVAC systems and recycled materials throughout the cabin, the Aero stands as one of the most sustainable and forward-thinking trains Amtrak has ever built. For Amtrak, it's not just another test run, it's proof that the next generation of American trains is almost here. The excitement is building. The first Amtrak Aero trains will enter service in 2026 on the Cascades route connecting Seattle, Portland and Vancouver, BC, and that's only the beginning. Soon after, Aero trains will spread across the Northeast and major routes nationwide, 83 new trains serving over 500 destinations in 46 states and Canada. This isn't just about testing a new train, it's about redefining what train travel in America can be cleaner, smarter, and better for everyone, and to understand how we need to look closer at what makes the Aero different inside and out. We'll explore that in the next episode, but first we need to hit 5,000 subscribers. Your support means a lot to us and inspires us to create more fun videos about the fascinating world of railways. Thank you so much. Design outside, inside. When you first see the Amtrak RO, you'll immediately realize it's no ordinary train. Its exterior design draws inspiration from the Pacific Northwest, featuring a Cascades-inspired palette of green cream and coffee brown. Stepping inside, the first impression is bright, airy, and quiet. Large panoramic windows flood the train with natural light, giving passengers a clear view of the surrounding landscape. Each carriage has a digital information display that shows the train speed next station and real-time itinerary updates. Materials used throughout the cabin have been carefully selected for both aesthetics and comfort. The seats have been redesigned with modern ergonomics in mind. Each seat has an adjustable headrest, more legroom, and a sturdy dining table. Passengers are provided with their own power outlet USB-C port and high-speed Wi-Fi for a connected travel experience. The air conditioning is quieter, the lighting is softer, and the entire cabin feels balanced and relaxing. For those seeking more privacy, there is a business class car with single and double seats designed for both work and rest. And then there is the cafe car, a real highlight of the aero experience. The design is modern and open with self-service screens allowing for quick ordering and contactless payment. The menu features Northwest cuisine including smoked salmon soup, Marionberry pie, local craft beer, and fresh ground coffee. Amtrak has expanded the onboard menu by about 30%, adding more vegan and healthier options, all served with eco-friendly materials. 
beyond comfort, Arrow brings a new level of intelligence to the Amtrak fleet. The train system is fully digital using advanced sensors to monitor performance energy consumption and passenger comfort in real time. Engineers can access this data remotely to perform predictive maintenance to identify and fix potential problems before they cause delays. Sustainability is at the core of the Aero design philosophy. Amtrak's goal is to achieve net-zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2045, and this train is a major step in that journey. Even the suppliers who manufacture Aero components are selected based on their sustainability practices, with many based in the United States to support local industries and minimize the carbon impact of transportation. Accessibility is also improved. Aero meets the latest ADA standards with wheelchair lifts, wider aisles, accessible restrooms, and a hearing aid loop system for passengers with hearing impairments. Every detail ensures that all passengers, regardless of mobility or hearing ability, can enjoy the ride with ease. Challenges and delay. Of course, getting there wasn't easy. Building a completely new fleet like the Amtrak Aero took years of design changes testing and more than a few failures along the way. When Amtrak first announced the project in 2021, the plan seemed to simple build and replace the aging fleet with operations beginning in 2024. But like any major project, things didn't go exactly as planned. One of the first major challenges came during the supply chain crisis that hit global manufacturing in 2021 and 2022. Many components from electronic systems to specialized steel parts were delayed or difficult to source. Siemens, the Sacramento, California-based company that builds the Aero fleet, had to find new suppliers and adjust schedules to keep production running. Then came the testing phase in Pueblo, Colorado. Engineers had to test everything from the outside to the inside. Every system had to pass rigorous federal safety standards and that took time. Some components had to be redesigned, some tests had to be repeated under extreme conditions of heat, cold, and heavy loads. There were also software calibration issues from the start. Because Aero uses a complex hybrid electric system, switching the motors to electric requires perfect programming. Engineers spent months fine-tuning the control software so the transition would be seamless with no jerks, no delays, no power drops. Even training employees became a big part of the challenge. Amtrak crews across the country needed to learn how to operate and maintain a train that was more digitized, automated, and more responsive to real-time data than any they had ever operated before. All of this pushed back the original deployment schedule by about two years. Instead of 2024, the first passenger service is now slated to open in 2026, starting with the Cascades. But each challenge has brought better results. Each delay has meant a new round of improvements, safer systems, and smarter technology. And now, as the first arrows head east for final testing on the Northeast Corridor, we finally feel like all the hard work has paid off. Public reaction. The excitement surrounding the Amtrak RO has come not just from the company, but from rail enthusiasts and riders across the country. On forums like Reddit or X, the excitement is palpable. One user wrote, Oh, how exciting, I can't wait to see this butte go by. Rail enthusiasts have been following every update, every test run, and every leaked image online. For many, the arrow feels like the start of a new era of American rail travel. Another user shared a more in-depth commentary on the train's route and rollout writing thanks. I often take the Northeast Regional between Philly and Boston, so I'll be interested to see if I'll be seeing it anytime soon. Part of that corridor is served by catenary technology. In short, the response has been overwhelmingly positive. The community is ready, riders are excited, and anticipation is building as the first Aro trains roll out. That's all for today. See you next time.